Hey everyone, what is up? Louis Vlogs and Games here. Welcome back to another new video on the channel. And today, we are back on British Railway for a second episode because I thought I could do more videos on the British Railway train simulator because I don't do those videos quite often. And I think you guys want to see more videos of these, of course. So we should do another video on this game. And this time, we are going to be driving on the brand new Norrington line. I bought the Norrington pack recently for only 400 coins. And we are going to be driving towards Norrington, which is a new extension that was opened in version 1.1. So let's start driving then. We'll drive a 142, of course. I don't have any of the other trains yet. I will be working hard to get these. Uh, we'll go do a Northern livery, four cars. That's the recent purchase of my train pack. And we want to drive to Norrington. Okay then, so let's start at Norrington sidings. We're going to work our way to Norrington. And then we will um, start driving our route. Uh, towards Freston Junction, which is the end of this um, following new extension. The same rules apply, of course, just keep it in the speed limits, don't go over it, or you could lose some points if you're not careful, of course. Uh, so let's just throw it down to 15. I know the game rules by now, so the grey throttle is to move the train and the red throttle is to slow the train down, of course. Put the headlights on, of course, the horn sounds the same, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yes, it is. So, we're already starting off as we're crossing the bridge over to the main city centre. We've got a 40 miles per hour right here, so we'll speed up to that in just a second once we get past it, of course. Let's have a little look out while we're here. We're actually crossing a river right now. This is different. I haven't driven down here as much. I did once. Uh, um, that's all I really did, to be honest. I only just checked out this um, particular pack before I actually started doing a video on it. Uh, so I just wanted to see what it's like before I actually do a video on it, of course. Because I want to check if it's good enough, of course. Anyway, here we are now approaching Norrington. We'll slow this train down to a complete halt. And then we will turn around and then we'll pick a Pacific route that we would like to do, of course. Uh, I can see a few of my AI passengers. Yes, I'm in the chef outfit this time. Uh, something different every week. Uh, whenever it's going to be shaped, a lightning vibe on the clothes, or it's just a regular basic chef outfit that I sometimes wear for fun. Uh, we'll go a little bit further towards the four-car marker because we're on a four-car train. Put the photo down one. Let's see if we can do a perfect stop. Oh, are we a little bit further? Yeah, that could do perfectly fine right there. Let's open the doors there. Finish our little dead run over to Normington Station. Now let's pick a Pacific route. Well, these are our options. They're quite long, uh, but I think we're going to try to Freston Junction on one of these routes. So we might try out the other routes later on in a few more videos ahead. So let's go do this one then. Uh, so the we are now boarding. There's the announcements. 1405 Regional Service to Victoria Harbour. Calling at. We're not heading there though. Forestdale. Freston Junction, St. James Park. So those are our Pacific stations that we're going to be stopping at on this route today. Victoria Harbour. This train is formed of four coaches. You may shut up now. Thank you very much. So this is where we start that. We also pass through a station called Sterling Street, which I think it's a limited stop that only like have trains stopping there like on a regular limited basis. Then we get to Hume Heath. Ashley, Rick Ashley, lol. A lot of people made that reference. Then we go to Forestdale and then we will finish off at Freston Junction where we'll leave the train there because that is the new Pacific um, extension on this game. Anyway, it is now five past two, so we can now close the doors, of course. There goes the doors. Uh, we'll put the throttle down and then we will start moving to our first stop off the extension, which is... Hume Heath. Actually, the second start because we also pass through Stirling Street, which is one of the stations on this particular extension. Anyways, let's get going. We're now departing Norrington, and we're going to make 2.15-14 miles until our next station stop, which will be Hume Heath, uh, which will take us about five minutes to get there, of course. Then we've got Ashley in the next three minutes, Farmers Down in two, and Freston Junction in another two minutes. We are already speeding out the station already. We have a fast departure on our hands here. Slow it down to 40, so we always have to follow the speed limit. Uh, don't want to go over it, lose some points. Don't want that happening. I still got to make up a lot of points if I want to buy a whole new thing. And we've got a 100 miles per hour right here. So we've got the time to pick up some actual speed now. Oh, actually, it's 110. 
Oh, that must have been a problem. I'm not sure. But anyways, let's see if we can get some high speeds. But the situation though with this train that it can only go a top speed of 75 miles per hour. While some other trains like the Class 170 goes 100 miles per hour. The Class 90 goes 110. Then we have the Voyagers in the pack which goes 125. So we are already passing through a station already which I assume this is Stirling Street. Uh, this is probably a limited stop on this um, extension. So we're just speeding that so we don't care about Stirling Street for now. And we are already going over nearly 70 miles per hour and we only just departed that last station Normington about two minutes ago. We'll get to 75 in no time because we're going this quick already. Uh, look out the window, just passing through the countryside, the trees, the fields, all that. Uh, I think I heard a few people say I can also open this window there, but I don't think I can be able to do that because of how stupid I am to be honest. Uh, we're already zooming down this main line at some high speeds. I'm enjoying this. Uh, but we still do have to slow down for a hume heave eventually, which is coming up in just a few moments. When we get to 0.30, we'll probably make a slow down for the next stop. Uh, we'll keep it 75 for a few more seconds and then we'll slow down. We've got another main line track there. I don't know where that goes towards. It's probably like a side in. Okay, it's best time for me to slow down a little bit now because we are about to approach hume heave. And we are kind of entering at some high speed, so hopefully we can make a perfect stop at Hume Heath, stop at the car marker, open the doors, get the passengers on, all the regular things. Uh, and here is our first stop that we're stopping at today, which is Hume Heath. I can see a few of my AIs on the platform, a few on the other platforms, although there's going to be absolutely no the trains train on the other platform. three platforms. Is there there's 14, the announcements. 10, regional service to... Victoria Harbour, calling at Aston. There's the four car. Freston Junction, St. James Park. Let's put the e-brake on. Marion, Whetstone. Okay, Road, that'll do fine. Dots, we'll take that. Uh, that is a fine Harbour. stop right this there. Is I can see yourself. Uh, I just saw myself get on the train. That's cool. Uh, I do like the addition of custom AI passengers in this game. Let's have a look out while we're here. Can we see ourselves in the train? Uh, well, we can see the potato man in there. But I think I can spot myself just at the very end. Uh, if I can just move around. Oh, yeah. There I am. There's two of myself in the front carriage. And I can see my character just moving around in the cab as well. I did not know my character was standing and not just sitting down. That's odd. Uh, I thought you'd normally be sitting down right down, mate. There we go. Now departing Hume Heath. And now we've got 1.28 miles to our next stop, which is Rick Ashley. Which is a meme that everyone is remembering about these days. It's still a popular thing listening to the Rick Roll, of course. And people still bring up this Rick Ashley term on the game because of the station name Ashley. It's referring to Rick's second name. Uh, so just to part in here on Have now, we got Ashley, Forestdale, and then we'll finish at Freston Junction. We've got a few minutes to make it to the next stop, so hopefully we'll get there on time. Uh, what a nice few towers back over there. This must be a few um, housing estates, I assume. There's a few more back there as well, I just saw, but they just disappeared. A uh, few houses there. It would be cool to see some trains through those windows. Uh, and by the looks of it, up ahead, it looks like we're about to go through a tunnel in just a few moments. Yeah, we're definitely approaching a tunnel now. Uh, so the next station is outside. Into the tunnel we go. Only a single track tunnel, this one. And we're already going 70 miles per hour through the tunnel, but it's best time for me to like slow down a little bit now because we are just about to approach our next station stop, which is Ashley. Uh, or I'll just call it Rick Ashley. Oh my God, we're entering a little bit quick. I'll just sure put the e-brake on uh, so I just don't accidentally overshoot the station. Oh, come on, come on, please, just stop. Oh, for God's sake, are you serious right now? Uh, yeah, that was my fault for entering a little bit too quick into the station. Yeah, I don't think these doors at the front are going to open. No, of course not. Just get in the second car and move to the first carriage. Okay, so let's get the doors closing now. And we are now going to make our way to uh, Forestdale. It's only in 0 0.57 miles. We've got a badge and we've driven for 10 miles now. That's all the miles that we've travelled in this game so far. I'm glad I did that. Uh, so Forest there will be 10.56 miles, which will be our next station stop, which will be in 0 0.53 miles. We're also going in another tunnel as well, this one being slightly different. 
with a slow and fast track as well. And then we go into the tunnel for the next few seconds. There's a whole mega an, an echo in here. Ooh. Hold on. Oh, I'm not sure if that was an echo, but it kind of sounds like the same when you was outside. Uh, so Ashley and Forestdale is not that far in between the two. So I guess we'll keep up this speed and then we'll just slow it down a little bit now as we want to make a decent stop at Forestdale and not an overshot like last time. That was rather embarrassing. I don't know why I even planned to enter the station that quickly. I know this is I know this is this is not Stepford County Railway because there's always a station that you can enter at 100 mile per hour then stop perfectly and we also do want to stop at the correct car marker so we'll go a little bit further down we'll start braking a little bit here while we're ahead you can see the car markers ahead and we want to stop at this marker there which is a eight car marker there is no four car or two car markers so the nearest one we have to stop must be the eight car marker. If that wasn't there, then we'll have to stop at the very end of the platform. So let's get all these passengers on. And then we got one more stop to go, Freston Junction, which we will end off today's video on the new Normington extension. Close the doors now. And let's make it to our final stop for today, which will be Freston Junction in 1.27 miles. So we've got some time to pick up some speed until we get to the NAS stop. Although we do continue to Victoria Harbour, but I think I'll do that for like another video in the next few days or weeks. Who knows what could happen. Uh, and I still got to get the Ash Dean pack as well and the Bellman Green pack if I want to drive down those Pacific lines in the game because I haven't drove down those lines just yet and it'll be nice to drive down there for a video. Anyway, let's get going now as we've got 1.8 miles until Freston Junction. So we got some time to pick up some speed until we get to our final stop. Uh, I think there was also a map as well, right? Okay, let's have a look at the map while we're ahead. Uh, we can see our train and Freston Junction is just up ahead. The map is a little bit strange. Don't know why it does. But every time, sometimes it just goes out of the map completely. I don't know why it does that. Uh, and you have absolutely no idea where you're at. The map is a bit of a confusing thing for me to control. Uh, and I don't think it should have been doing that. Like, it just sends you out of the world completely if you just mess up a little thing. Uh, but I don't think we care about the map as much now because we are just about to make a quick approach. We've got to slow down a little bit now. We are entering at some high speeds. Preston Junction. We've got to slow down a little bit now. I don't want to, like, completely overshoot the station. Although it's a big station and it could fit a 10-car train on here. We'll just put the emergency brake on as we'll make our way onto the platform where we will finish today's video off. Uh, and here we are at the busy Freston Junction. Quite a lot of platforms, to be honest. There must be like six or seven platforms here. I haven't checked because I haven't gone into passenger mode just yet. Uh, we'll go a little bit further to where the four-car marker is. We'll stop and then we'll finish off. Uh, and we can see the four-car marker just there. So let's put the brake on to two, uh, three to just put it on one more per hour because why not yeah sure put the throttle a little bit and yeah just stop it there there we go guys so we have just driven on the new Norrington extension that was interesting to do and we'll try to do the Ashdeen and Bowman Green line eventually I've just got to make up more points for it so we're going to wrap up today's video here, guys. Just want to say thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you all did enjoy. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you all in the next one. Until next time, bye, guys. See ya.